Determining the right amount of nitrogen fertilizer to apply with the right timing has considerable impact on yield, protein content, fertilization cost and the environment. Yara Precision farming tools, such as N-Sensor and N-Tester, allow farmers to adjust fertilization to the exact needs of plants at every spot on the field. Yara N-Tester is a handheld device used for determining nitrogen requirements by measuring the chlorophyll content of the leaf. The N-Tester is used to adjust nitrogen application rates directly to actual plant needs. It is also used to calibrate the end sensor by setting the nitrogen reference dose. Yara end sensor is a tractor mounted device. It measures light reflectance from the crop canopy in different spectral ranges. The measured reflectance is used to calculate nitrogen needs. The corresponding application rate is directly forwarded to the spreader controller. Fertilization rate is adjusted instantaneously to actual crop needs at every spot of the field. The Yara N sensor works at any time of the day and under all weather conditions. The system is designed to work continuously at normal tractor speed, scanning two strips of approximately 3 meters width on both sides of the tractor. It automatically takes into account and corrects for ambient light conditions. The Yara N sensor is entirely controlled from the driver's cabin. Current spreading rates are indicated on the display. The Yara N sensor operates as a standalone system. However, it can be easily connected to a GPS receiver to generate biomass and nitrogen application maps for each field. The N sensor is calibrated for a wide range of crops, including wheat, corn, potatoes, rapeseed and many others. For detailed information on available calibration models, please contact your local Yara representative. Many field tests have confirmed the benefits of precision farming. Use of the N sensor reduces N application by 12%, increases yield by 6%, reduces the risk of lodging, enhanced threshing performance, increased quality, minimized losses and leaching.